I recently just graduated college and I've had the time to learn exactly what a computer science student needs for their everyday carry. If you're a new or a returning student looking for some insights on essential purchases so you can be ready for the next semester, then you're in the right place. This video will reveal all of my must haves and links to all the products will be down in the description. But let's go ahead and get into it. An essential as a computer science student is a laptop. And the laptop that I recommend and use is the M2 MacBook Pro. Now, if you wanna see the video of my long-term review on that, go ahead and click the video right here. The M2 MacBook Pro is an excellent laptop for a computer science student due to its powerful processing capabilities necessary for coding and running complex algorithms. It has a high resolution retina display for clear visuals and macOS is popular among developers for its Unix based environment. The MacBook Pro also offers excellent build quality and a long lasting battery, making it reliable for everyday use. Lastly, the seamless integration with other Apple devices like my iPad, which doubles as a second monitor due to Apple's sidecar feature and my iPhone, which I'll talk about later, significantly boosts my productivity and streamlines my workflow. The integration made my setup highly effective and portable. So next up, let's talk about my 2019 iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. I initially bought these when I started out as an engineering student, as I often found myself needing to sketch diagrams or markup printouts for later study. The Apple Pencil is an absolute game changer here, allowing you to write directly on documents. It's an accessory that truly transformed my workflow. I paired these with Notability, which is a free app where you can take notes and upload PDFs. It has Google Cloud integration and a desktop app. So no matter where I am, I can access all of my notes. The Apple Pencil really brings this app to life, making it an indispensable part of my tech arsenal. It also offers a paid version that is $15 a year. And the main reason why I bought it was the convert to text feature, which takes handwritten notes and converts them into text. This made it very easy when writing formulas or filling out documents. So my iPhone is an item I simply can't leave the house without. It does more than just handle basic tasks like texting or making phone calls. It seamlessly integrates into my workflow by allowing me to easily airdrop class photos to my Mac or iPad for incorporation into notability documents. Plus, it allows for effortless copy and pasting of text between my phone and other devices. One of my key accessories for the MacBook Pro is the Logitech MX Master 3. And it's very dirty because I use it on a daily basis. This mouse is incredibly versatile which I've customized to tailor all of my specific needs. It allows me to create different setups for various apps. For instance, I can assign the thumb button to do a macro command that will comment out a lot of code in one app, while in another app like DaVinci Resolve, it functions as my blade tool. The mouse connects to three different devices via Bluetooth, and currently it's linked to my MacBook, gaming PC, and my work laptop. If you're still with me at this point in the video, please drop a like and comment EDC so that I know you've made it to this part of the video. My audio gear is quite diverse, and the choice of the day often depends on my mood and the tasks at hand. My Apple AirPod Pros are a constant companion due to their compact size and weight. They're easy to carry in a pocket or a backpack without taking up too much space. Their noise cancellation feature is a lifesaver when I'm studying in noisy environments. I've swapped the standard silicone ear tips for memory foam ones, which are incredibly comfortable and stay in my ears even if I decide to fall asleep in them. However, my audio arsenal doesn't just stop at the AirPod Pros. Some days, I switch to my Beats Studio Buds Plus for a different audio experience. Their sound profile suits my taste and they're a great alternative when I want to change things up. And if you want to see a review video on the Beats Studio Buds Plus, go ahead and click the video that is right here. Then some days I gravitate to my over ear headphones, which are the Bose QuietComfort 45s. They offer superior noise cancellation and comfort, which is perfect for extended periods of listening. Remember, it's about finding the right tool for the job. And sometimes that means having a few options at your disposal. Now you might be wondering how I power all my devices. And for that, I rely on the Anchor Nano 2 65 watt charger, along with their six foot USB USB-C cable. As all of my Apple products are now USB-C, this solution is a no-brainer. One core takes care of everything. Despite its compact size, the charger outperforms Apple's own 20-watt offering. I don't recommend carrying their MacBook charger either because it's quite bulky. This tiny charger can fast charge my phone to 50% capacity in just 30 minutes, and it keeps my laptop fully charged even during intense coding and video editing sessions. I highly recommend this combination. My final addition to my everyday carry and something that I also recommend is a Kindle. 
For me, it was the perfect companion for those quiet moments between classes when I could just indulge in some leisure reading. I am a huge fan of sci-fi and fantasy, and I'm always on the lookout for new recommendations. So if you have any recommendations, feel free to drop them down in the comments because I'm gonna add them to my reading list. While tech gadgets form the cornerstone of my everyday carry, there are also a few non-tech items that I find to be absolutely essential for my day-to-day -day life. So let's shift gears a little bit and discuss those. Now, I believe that every student needs two fundamental items, a pencil and a notebook. The pencil that I use and prefer is the Kurutoga Advanced Upgrade Model. It is made from aluminum and it features a unique rotating engine that maintains an even lead point and it feels really nice in the hand. One accessory that perfectly complements the pencil is the journal that I always carry. This journal serves as a catch-all for almost everything from keeping track of important due dates to capturing personal reflections and brainstorming ideas for YouTube. Having a dedicated space to note down daily tasks and thoughts is incredibly valuable and it ensures nothing important slips through the cracks. All right, that's all for my everyday tech essentials as a computer science student. Remember, what works best for me might not necessarily be the best fit for you. It's all about tailoring your EDC to meet your specific needs and preferences. I hope my setup has given you some inspiration and some valuable insights. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to keep up with more tech tips and insights from a former computer science student, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. I would also love to hear about your own everyday carry setup, so go ahead and drop that down in the description as well. Well, that's all for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.